Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we've got one system to check today from the user Kaysen in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending this in. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. So it's on the workshop, it should really be here, there it is. So, let's see what he has prepared for us here. So it's called the Vyankui system. So, let's see what we have here. Right, okay, ooh. Okay, so, hello, you are here. This is the Vyankui star system in the Orion arm of the Milky Way, about 200 light years away from the sun in a young purple nebula. Uh, the star Vyankui, Vyankui is about seven times bigger than the sun. The system has 13 planets and three dwarf planets, which all used to be moons of the three Hattel planets called Zeus. Or one of the three Hattel planets called Zeus. This system also has a white dwarf orbiting called uh, Tisrusta. Okay, so, as we can see, star itself... Yeah, bigger than the sun in all of its aspects there. Okay. Right, so labels, uh, trails, uh, no, no, labels are on. Yeah, okay, so the first, what's this here? A oh, rock particle, okay. So vine, the first planet from the star, fine. Okay, so where's that? So it's o Oniti, which is here. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. So, it's a small, arid world with no atmosphere. It is blasted with solar winds from the active star. It has radioactive wasteland you do not want to be on. The temperature on Neti is an average of 215 degrees Celsius. There is a concentrated amount of radioactive material that glows a bright green on the surface. And there it is there. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. Cool. Okay, so next up we've got a binary planet, which is probably these guys here. Or is it? Hang on, where are we? So, it's over here? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Right. Okay, so binary planet system. The smallest planet system almost being considered dwarf planets. So it's... Uh, Plung, Xiopus, and Esther. So we've got those two there. Okay. So this is the slightly more massive one, having a surface of green hue in a very thick blue atmosphere, blocking out most of the light, much like Venus. The average temperature being 346 degrees, the second hottest in the star system. And the other one here. An arid world of an atmosphere very similar to Mars, having a very mild temperature for its location in this solar system. It has black clouds of smoke from its many volcanoes and active plate tectonics. Okay. Cool. So now we're heading to this object here. Tercopitus is a planet in very similar size to Earth. It is a very uh, arid, very arid world. It is a very arid world with heavy winds and scattered lakes. The intelligent life from Citisco Cit is currently trying to settle colonies on the poles of this planet. Its temperature can reach 215 to minus 41 degrees. Okay. So world in the uh, it was a terraforming machines. So it's world actively being worked on by the uh, inhabitants of this system. Oh, what the heck? What was that all about? Well, where are we? Oi! We were here, weren't we? Here we go. Cool. Nice. Got some moons as well. Alrighty. Cool. Okay. Next up, we got this one. So where are we? What's that? Oh, there's also another moon over here, Natu. Or a lone, uh, a lone wolf there. Okay, cool. So where's this next one? That's this green one here. Okay, aha, nice. Nice consonants on that planet as well. That looks like cool, actually. So it's a very important planet because it is one of the two planets to develop life, the other planet being Zeus. It is a very Earth-like planet in size and temperature. This planet has tropical climate and moderate temperature averaging at 28 degrees. Uh, this planet spins the wrong way due to an impact long ago. If you look far enough in this system, you may find the remnant of this ancient impact. Ah, very nice. Let's check its stats. I like the look of this one. It's nice. 92 and 68. Constants to land. Yeah, it's cool. has some moons as well. There they are there. Oh, there's the last one. Cool. Right, nice. 
So next up we've got Zeus here, so the other Earthlight world. So it's often referred to as the twin. Okay. Being the other planet to develop native life. It also has a slightly cooler temperature, averaging at 25. Nice. Stats are looking pretty good as well. Very, very cool. Okay, so we've also got some moons. Awesome stuff. There they all are there. Okay, cool. And right, next up we got Neperon. Have it here. It's a terraformed planet about twice the size of Mars. This planet used to be a barren rocky world, a lot like Mars, today until the intelligent life of Zeus and the Citisco came together and terraformed it. Now it has the highest population of any planet in the solar system. It has an average temperature of 1 degrees. It's very cold, mild climate, a very cool purple atmosphere. Nice. Has some moons as well to boot. There you go. Cool. So, uh, oh, I see, yeah, that was that one. Yeah, okay, cool. So, right, so next up we got Erekern. Where are we? That's this one here. An average sized gas giant with very high wind speeds. It has a very cool coloured band across it. Its average temperature is minus 40. Nice mixture of bands there. Nice purple and like neon blues going on there. Excellent. It has one moon. Sis 2. There it is there. Cool. Now we're moving over here. Saatia, a massive rocky planet that was in the process of being terraformed. It was once thought to be a gaseous planet until the telescopes became advanced enough to see that it is not. Okay, all right, there you go. Cool, got some terraforming machines around it as well. Next up, we've got Eubene, a large gas giant close to being a brown dwarf. Oh, there's a car alarm outside. I don't know if anyone heard that. Yeah, apologies if there's any background noise. It is tremendously hot in England right now, and... I cannot film with the window closed, so apologies for any background noise. <laughs> but it is hot. Right, so, um, yeah, Aaron, uh, you've been a, a large gas giant close to being a brown dwarf. It is very slow winds for a gas giant with an average temperature of 107 degrees. Okay, cool. Got some moons as well. Very nice. Looking good. Next up, we're over here. So Ortusk is the largest planet, or should I say brand dwarf, as it usually catches any rogue asteroids, ateroids, I mean, I think it's asteroids, headed for the inner solar system. It has high temperatures reaching 2,416 degrees. You can see this planet clearly from anywhere in the system. If you put this planet in the system, the sun, our solar system will become a binary one. Nice. See, so yeah, it's 54 masses of Jupiter. Yeah, that definitely uh, trigger that. Oh, we've also got some uh, moons as well, since we are referring to it as a planet, not a star. So there's its moons. Okay, next up we have got Tino over here. So that's a dwarf planet. Well, it says it's another large rocky planet. I'm not so sure about that because it's only... Oh, no, it's got five radius of Earth. I don't know why it's like a mini object, though. That's pretty weird. It shouldn't be a mini object with that size. But yeah, another large rocky planet. It used to be a Hathor world until it was ejected from the inner solar system. It also used to be a binary of Sino, but due to them being flung out, they got separated. Sino has the same story as Tino. So, where's Sino? There he is. Very nice. Over here. Excellent. So, there you are. And then lastly, the White Dwarf is a surprise. You'll have to see what it has in store for you. Okay. Hmm. So, here it is over here. There's also a few other objects, but they're all like... Uh, there's the Cisco Impact we mentioned earlier. The impact in the inner solar system. This is the result of that. It also has a moon as well. Okay. There's also a few comets and other bits flying around as well. So we see Zeus's comet here, for instance. We've got some more uh, crazy orbits. We've got this comet as well. So they're the ones we missed. But yeah, moving on. So the white dwarf has a surprise. Okay, so let's see what we got over here. It's a Titwister. What is this? Okay, so the star itself, obviously, white dwarf. The great explorer. So we've got the, uh, ah. cool, cool. Got this object here. Nice green looking world. 
So an orbit of the White Dwarf. So actually had some conditions as well. Nice. 94 and 55 around the old White Dwarf there. Not bad. Then what's this? Ivor. Pretty wacky gas giant. War fragments. Ah. Cool. Okay. Nice. And there we are. That does it for this system. So... Again, a massive thank you to the user Kaysen for sending this in. I enjoyed that. Very, very nice indeed. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the system, actually, before we finish up as well, let's get a line up of all the objects as well. There you go. Ooh, where are we? Uh, radius. So they all are there. Looking good. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. And yeah, if that all said and done, make sure you all stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.